Yo, what's going on peeps and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to increase and boost your FPS on any PC game such as CSGO, PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds, Overwatch, Fortnite, and so on. I'm going to be showing you several ways on how to remove all the lag spikes and FPS drops for absolutely free. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright, so the first thing I want you guys to do is to get access to your local disk's properties. So go ahead and search up this PC and then click on this PC and then go to local disk and right click and click on properties and then go to general and then disk cleanup and you want to go ahead and check all of these boxes everything literally everything the recycled bin the temporary files everything and click on ok and then click on yes delete files are you sure you want to permanently delete these files click on delete files and it will basically clean up your drive. So I'm gonna speed this up right now. And so once that is done, you've now deleted all of your junk files in your temporary files, your recycle bin and so on. And this will make your computer run much faster and you know increase your FPS. So once you're done with general, you can move on by clicking on tools and then clicking on check. And this will basically scan your drive for any errors. And as you can see, we haven't found any errors on this drive. So as you can see, I have no errors, but if you have any, then go ahead and scan them and delete them. So once you're done with that, you can click optimize and then click optimize again. And this will basically defrag your computer and make it run much faster and increase your FPS as well. So click optimize and then just complete everything. I've already done this, so I'm not gonna do it again, but you can click on close once you're done and then you can go ahead and click on OK. So once you're done with those steps, you can go ahead and close this down and then open up your control panel by clicking on the Windows button and searching control panel and then basically uh, searching power options and then clicking on power options and make sure to change uh, if it's on balanced or power saver make sure to change that to high performance and that will use your computer's uh, resources a lot more and uh, you know increase your fps on games so once you're done with that you want to go ahead and search uh, advanced system settings so advanced system settings there we go and click on view advanced system settings and then click on settings underneath performance and then change this to adjust for best performance and this will basically increase your fps and so on so click on apply and then just wait and then click on OK and then you can click on OK again and close this down. Now if your Windows looks pretty different from before then don't worry this is only a benefit for increasing FPS on games and basically getting a better uh, frame rate. Alright so the last and final step is to go ahead and download something called CCleaner and this will basically analyze your computer and delete all of the junk files literally every single junk file you have on your computer and this is very good because it will increase your frame rate uh, you know reduce the lag spikes and so on. So go ahead and download the free version of CCleaner by clicking on download over here. Now I've already done this so I'm not going to do it again but go ahead and install this uh, download it open it up and it will look like this. So once you've opened up CCleaner the only thing you've got to do is to click on analyze and that will basically basically uh, delete all of the junk files in your internet cache, uh, your internet history, and your cookies, and so on. Everything that's selected here. So go ahead and do that, and they'll basically delete everything. Now there's one more step that is totally optional, and that's going ahead and downloading Razer Cortex, which will basically boost your FPS a lot if you have a low-end PC. So if you have a high-end PC, you don't have to do this, but if you have a low-end PC, then go ahead and go into razorzone.com slash cortex. The link will be down below in the description, and download Razer Cortex. So once you're on the website, you want to go ahead and click on download now and it's going to download So go ahead and complete the setup install Razer Cortex and open it up and it will look like this So once you've opened up Razer Cortex, you actually need an account to use the features So go ahead and click on create account and then put in your an email that you can you know verify your account with So I'm just gonna do that right now So there we go once you have full access to your Razer Cortex account and you're in your library You can go ahead and click on the plus and then click on the folder then find the game file location where the game is basically located. I'm just gonna use Grand Theft Auto 4 as an example. So click the game and then click on open and then click on add and then click on play. Basically click on play from our Razer Cortex. So click on play. Now it's going to load and it will basically load for a couple of seconds because it's going to remove background processes and such you're not using to increase FPS and frame rate. Now as I said before, this video is mainly for low-end PCs, and this Razer Cortex method is not mandatory for high-end PCs. Now when the game has loaded up, make sure you have low quality settings if you have a low-end PC, and high quality settings if you have a high-end PC. But anyways guys, thanks for watching, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and after hitting subscribe, make sure to click the bell to get notified whenever I post out a video. With that being said, thanks for watching once again, and I'll see you next time.